chance but you start to be strong never let your troubles no one can keep you down you got to rise up think about tomorrow look beyond your fears Everything is a sign of doom. Trusting God, believing in Him. Trusting God, believing in Him. Go beyond. Today, everything is divine. Everything is divine. You overcome every situation. It seems impossible until it's done. Better is my son. And the sun will shine no matter how dark the night has been. Nobody will have a right to kill another man. Over there, a misery will be in the past. Hospital with good medication. All get the youth will have a chance to go. No more shedding of blood on the streets. No more human rights violation. No more hunger. No more drones. Everybody will love the opportunity. One day everything is gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. I still know everything will be alright. Everything's gonna be fine. I still know everything is gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. I still know everything will be alright. We believe in hope. Marcus Covey told us and we learned that a civilization is not complete without its art. Because art is the highest form of expression of human intelligence. Now, you artists, remember that you have the power, you are powerful. I salute you. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to address the young people today. The young people from Karamoja, the young people from Acholi land, young people from Busoka, young people from Bugisu, from Ankole, from Chigezi, from Uganda, from all over the country. Young people. I say young people. Young people. I want to talk to you today. Some of these words are not my words. Franz Fanon say that every generation must and then make a decision whether to betray that mission or to pursue that mission. Buli mujiji, kuino kuzula omulama guwago, deno guwa mujiji kusareo. Kwa wangu following oku omulama kukutukilise, kwa wangu kukuliamoru kwe. By now, one thing I'm sure of is that this generation knows its mission. This generation, I say, knows its mission. Mwe abakubu kabo omulembe guno, mumanyi omulama guwamu, mumanyi chigele liwa chamu. I am not here to tell you about the problems that you go through every day. No, we've talked about that for more than five years. I'm not here to remind you about the freedom that you don't have. No! You know that. The young people from Karamoja, the richest place in Uganda, and probably in Africa, you know, you know that Karamoja is rich, but you are poor. I'm not going to teach you. I don't live in Karamoja. I'm not going to show you the misery of the hospitals and the schools there. You know it. The young people from Acholi land, you know how much of your land is being stolen and given to foreigners. You know I'm not going to remind you of that. Okay? You, the young people of Ankole and Chigezi and the whole of Western Uganda, I'm not going to remind you that you're being used as scapegoats, because the rest of the country thinks you earn tribal allowance. I'm not going to remind you about that. 
I'm not going to remind you about the kind of problem Museveni is causing for you. Okay? You, the young people of Uganda, Sigenda Panyu Kiza, Jebaba Biko Takali Amwe, Sigenda Panyu Kiza Chiti Wachamaina, Jebaba Biko. Sige na pa yukiza Kibaba sengula kumataka kamwe Na mafuwa mwene baba zikula Sige na chiba yukiza Na bade chivoka jo Na ye amataka kuko na amagaka Kungulubali wakasori Kwa suwa yude zaapu Ngomkade amanyi azika nime kasori wange Ngomita kaliyabana bambi Na ye kakati Gubazula gold Gubaba goba Ibirombe bi na either be a seven or maybe a sodo or maybe a man away or maybe a makazu. Sit and by you kiss a second up your get up on a movie money. And I'll see in a bagaman to wait. I got open la Kubanga Muchiman. Mumanyavana. Tanga Tevaina. Tamo Sango. Nenga Tababi. But it could sweet you at Tambula. Mumanyavabi. Panyukunya watufu tuwa manyi Mwewa keto yuchimuchi manyi Mwuru njinyo Sige na pogera kushuki alimida sawa Siu Do that mission or betray that mission Padero Nanjuki na naba kubuka Now that I've gotten yet another opportunity Of talking to you I will say this First of all, I will remind you that we had intended to host this engagement outside Uganda, outside Kampala. But you know that the last time our teams tried to go up country, Nyazi Jemiko Chatambusa. So we all know the challenge that we have as a generation, ladies and gentlemen. We have a challenge to change our country. We have a challenge because many of you are young, but five years from now, many of you are not going to be young people. I was a youth yesterday. I'm not a youth anymore. And before long, we just pull up So now, we have a challenge. Too many chat. We are gonna jump to chat. Too many is in one. Although many of us are paid to pretend that everything is okay, it is not okay. The biggest challenge of this generation is to put Uganda back on track. Uganda training the Africa. challenge and they defeated the white people they defeated the white people and here we are as a country we are the reason especially we the generation we have the young old people here but I want to speak to you the young people we have a task, a task to change the trajectory of things. Today we are in a country where 30 is the new 18. Many of you are 25, but you're still living with your parents. Not that you don't know. This is generation than the ones that came before. But 30 is the new 18. Many are educated. Not employed. ETC, ETC. I can't go back into our problems. I just want to challenge you to provoke your reasoning, to provoke your anger, because if you can't get angry with the state of affairs in Uganda, you are a damn fool. I say that again. If you cannot get angry with the situation in Uganda, you are a bloody fool. Because a smart person, when you have brains in your head, is supposed to annoy you. It's supposed to annoy you. 
But how are you going to channel your anger? That is what I want to speak to today. We are in a fight. Many of us got scared, but indeed more of us are joining the fight. We have a fight to change our lives. But how do we change that fight? Number one, let us realize that we have a problem. No. I look in a very special way, you people that are here and those following us online. Already you realize that we have a problem. We have a problem between each zero. It was not solved by our fathers and mothers. Many of them are long dead, others are dying soon. We are the new fathers, the new mothers. We cannot blame our fathers and mothers because once upon a time, a young man speaking like me, called Museveni back in the 80s, came and convinced them. Yes, he was not as cute as I look. <laughs> But he convinced them and they followed him and he betrayed them. That's why today I want to speak to you individually and to ask you not to consider this as a Chakulani thing. No. Don't consider this as a Nyanzi, as a Senyoni, as a Rubongoya thing. Don't consider this as a Zebriga thing. It is your thing. You have a bigger stake in this more than Zendriga. Because she's in fact most of you have a bigger stake in this more than me. Okay? You are in this country much longer than me. But I'll speak to that later. What must we do? First and foremost, let us realize the task ahead of us. Fold our sleeves and our trousers and get to work. And do what we must do. I say it every day. But you will walk and look back. Those are teaching also rally a rich Napuiza dictator. Let me say this in English. Every day, what have I done today that forwards our struggle? What have I done today that weakens Museveni and his government of thieves? If you've not done anything, do we think, think, each one of you has a duty to think. First of all, think individually. Chilo was a Kumanawama, Magenda, or whoever could all So, after waking up, because waking up is the first step. The first step to solving a problem is realizing that it's actually a problem. Realize that it's a problem. Number two, unite. Unite, Moikate. Look for all people with similar thoughts and unite with them. You cannot do this alone. You cannot clap with one hand. We must unite. You must demystify your tribe. You must demystify your religion. Unite. The new tribe you must belong to is the tribe that wants a better Uganda. If anybody is supporting your oppression, that is not your tribe. Your new religion should be the idea for a better Uganda. And you, the young people, you can never ever pretend not to know that you are already united by faith. I mean, look where we are. Ba meka kuma ba wasiza mo tribe zamu. Ba meka kuma nga buli ba chali bo bana bana tribe yo. Ba meka kuma nga ba chali nga 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 team yo tribe yo ovanga dini yo. 
we are already united. You know, seven years succeeded in misruling us for close to 40 years because he plays the divide and rule game. I was talking to a friend in America and he said he actually never thought knew that he was black. America you never knew you were you never knew you were Munubi, you never knew you were Muganda, because we are united by faith. Now, yet, Museveni, I forgot to tell you, ah, ah, Kakati, where we swim, Kay, or you mean, Kore, so train up one who was associating an Ebano, where we were, or you mean, Kore, train up dealing an Ebano. No! We love our tribes, we celebrate them. They make us special as Africans. But let us agree that in many ways our tribes have been used against us to divide us. And that does not benefit us. It benefits those that are oppressing us. So unite beyond tribe. Unite beyond religion. Unite. Martin Luther King told us that we either unite and sisters and sisters or we perish together as a fools. Choose one. Do you know where Gatani Kwano Jan? Chituka Katako Fena. Number two, discipline. There's no struggle that has ever succeeded without discipline. And discipline cuts across. Discipline, most importantly, is how you relate. Discipline You find somebody is a firm freedom fighter. Somebody is a firm outspoken person. But before long, so I want to communicate to you, all of you friends, discipline is a very important thing. And this brings me to our comrades, the food soldiers. Why do we call you food soldiers? First of all, it's a tag of respect. Jimuli Barwani, Awalwani Amomera Yena, but food soldiers. But question is, are food soldiers? Our beloved food soldiers, are they a resource or are they a problem? We must make sure you are more of a resource than a problem. If you if said a vingi nyo, but wana kuruang kuruamwe, kubangamu. Maybe said a vingi nyo, but wuma, never to vola kubangamu. This is the best platform because the majority of you are young people. But I get depressed when you misrepresent us. I've told you time and again that we have a responsibility to paint a picture for those that are for those that have been the victims of propaganda. And some of our friends, unfortunately, they confirm that. I repeat, no struggle has ever succeeded without uh, rainy. <laughs> Discipline. Every of you. No, we too little. Kuro kuro ni wabo na. Ni zokuwa ngani zi? Nanya kala kupwa moshi mbola ko. Gache chijio kuzi kaka nyi. Ne chige na kupwa chipa na nchia balala. Balala bebi se la bingi nyoba na fe. And I encourage speaking out. Ne muri ba kulembese. Mwe abadi wano muri ba kulembese. You are leaders. You don't need titles to lead. Kupwa kupwa nchia ba mukobele. And we are lucky we live in the age of social media where everybody has followers. But where are you leading them to? They are following you. Every time you see people following you, please know that that is a burden on your shoulders. Please know that that is a burden on your shoulders. 
kubanga bwotaba na je chitufu je bako mkuwa na je bako kendo kwa mkuza alabu so mbasa baba ganda bangi mwenjuki ze ti if you don't take two steps forward and three steps behind is that what we want enso ngendara jenja kalo kogira ko basebo ni banyabo ona kulwa lero Kwa kubasa ba, 